could also be called a destruction in this way where where he attacks right what is called right these great philosoph philosophical uh, giants of the past right so here he see the correlation he gives the prime mover moves everything else but remains unmoved so uh, you know there there are theories also philosophical theories deism the philosophy of deism is there a whole lot of what is deism right? d e i s m deism says that you know there is someone who gave us something but still he remains passive for an example there is a bicycle that you that we have that is manufactured by somebody and given to us right given to um, given to me so this bicycle i have got it it is manufactured i don't know from where but i bought it um from the shop and it is with me now after this i will never go back to the manufacturer there is no connection between me and the manufacturer i have to mend and tend and attend to this vehicle this bicycle all of my own you know similarly something like that there is a prime mover obviously but that prime mover remains unmoved that's what aristotle says in book 11 through book 11 of uh, his metaphysics right so uh, now yeah we'll go back to that the center um, uh, the next paragraph right example the unmoved mover of aristotle i think this page we should finish it off quickly and then we'll wind up on uh, you know this particular critical essay um the unmoved mover now i'll read that unmoved mover for you um uh hence a center is that part of a structure which focuses and organizes the entire system one good example is aristotle's unmoved mover uh, or prime mover as a simplicity in the name the unmoved mover moves other things but is not itself moved this is referred to as the prime mover in aristotle's view change is eternal so change is something that is a constant aristotle believed that the prime mover causes things to move by attraction in much the much the same way that a saucer of milk attracts a cat the milk attracts the cat but cannot be said to be changed in the process so he you know uses the concept propounded or proposed by aristotle himself i'll give you an a very simple example i took a you know example of a you know a, the, the the two words right i think the next paragraph talks about that right so this is the word this is the word signified right this is the word called signified and uh, you i think you can you know notice that this is the and this is the word called right signifier signifier so this is signified this is on the other side of the page the signifier right now you can right see it for yourself so a sign we all know has two sides to it right a sign we all know has two sides to it right one is called the signified the other is called the signifier without this there is no sign right without this there is no sign so just have a look at this the a sign is composed of two one is called a signifier that is the letter and the other is called the signified the image that comes to our mind right this is very important to understanding derrida in deconstruction because the next paragraph i am once again telling you this right i hope you understand it's very simple some of you understand right uh, if if it is difficult you can ask me once again that's why i'm giving you this example a sign it's like two sides of a coin right two sides of a coin or the two sides of a of a paper right a paper will always have two sides isn't it it comes together naturally you can't say a paper has only one side but if we want we will use one side and the other side we leave it blank but a paper always has two sides like a coin has two sides uh the flip side the obverse side you know we call it so the, the flip side and the main side right so uh, similarly a sign equals signified by signifier or signifier by signified 
you should have this basic premise in mind when we go to the very important uh, next paragraph about the transcendental signified okay. i'll go to that now just have a look mm. history of the concept of structure a series of substitutions of center for center for center so what is the center series of substitutions maybe once upon a time when we were ruled by magicians magicians were the center of our universe once upon a time they they said and they made us believe that they control the winds the water the fire the air and everything around us and we also believe that with such adoration veneration admiration but after a period of time we recognized that it is not the magician who is the center but rather it is the priest or divinities who occupy the center so there was a shift of the center the magician became relegated to the periphery or the margins and somebody else occupied the center that was until the 19th century 18th century and after that what happened was science was replaced or dethroned decentered from its center and then something else occupied the center that is called science and uh, you know this happened till the beginning of the 20th century when science ruled the roost so see uh, i'll just read the uh, topic title once again uh, history of the concept of structure as a series of substitutions of center for center for center for center for center this uh, subheading is not in the text i have just given it for you to understand it better so a uh, substitution of center for center and that's why in the 20th century right when science failed humankind we dethroned science from the center of our universe from our perspective and then what we did was we made human beings as the center and that is why the journey to the interior because we trusted in magic it failed us maybe you know divinities they failed us maybe science they also failed us because science we thought was a savior but it was a destroyer people found out that the world was the first and the second world wars were ultimate chaos and destruction we all know the ultimate bombing of hiroshima and nagasaki in you know in a succession of 6 days apart then uh, right uh, the world wars uh, dest destructive power was at its peak and so science was also dethroned from its center and slowly right people were literally confused like t s eliot says you know we were like a patient etherized the modern man's you know predicament was like a patient etherized on the table he didn't have any solutions outside they couldn't go outside for their meaning for answers and that is when this journey within a whole lot of philosophers transcendental is a whole lot of you know pragmatists they all advocated a return within so human beings were at the center look within don't look at anything so this is and maybe today we all know you all know a harari who has given us some wonderful books called uh, right uh, homo deus uh, again connected with deus that the concept of deism that we spoke about uh, you all know a harari's uh, homo deus and uh, 21 lessons for the 21st century a whole lot of they call about dataism dataism means data occupies the center of our lives without data and networking today we can't stay connected ai which was uh, beginning to come into work from the 1960s onwards 1970s onwards um now today has become the center of our universe otherwise i will not connect to you from karnataka from kerala from uh, andhra from even you might be in the united states now uh last week when bill ashcroft spoke to us you know i streamed it live for you transcribed it actually live for you from australia that right? he was speaking to us from australia he was not speaking from madurai madurai just you know hosted it but everything was from australia and who was the center there not bill not skill at madurai not the american college not me not you it is data that's why you know uh, uh, the worship of data in 1978 uh, 
when uh, Lyotard right, uh, gave us this wonderful book, The Postmodern Condition. Remember when you were in your UG, we asked you to read the book, right? Uh, when I was taking postmodernism for you, right? The Postmodern Condition, a report on knowledge. That's the subtitle to the book, where he says, in the future, human beings will not have the same value that they have in the 1970s, the uh, you know, 1970s when we were born. I am a 1970s kid. Right. Uh, so, you know, it will not have the same value that that human beings have in the 1970s, in the 2000s or 2010-20s, in the future. You should also, you know, um, read another book that comes to my mind. It's called Thomas Kuhn, K.U. Hitchens, Structure of Scientific Revolutions. So he says, I'm sorry, right? He says, but in the future, data will occupy uh, the premacy or uh, right the, the most important space so what has been dethroned science has been dethroned or human beings have been dethroned and something else comes in data so without data without this networking everything else becomes a colossal waste uh, magic is no more the center but in those days just imagine our primal you know uh, primeval uh, past or in the days long ago when right maybe our forefathers or ancestors they all you know had this uh, great adoration for magic and then it came on to the priestly class and then in the 19th century to the scientific right origin of species 1859 and then on right how the center is a substitute so just imagine i'm just giving you this once again just have a look at this, the signifier and the signified. Just imagine I replace the word signifier for what is called, right, some, some word like truth or God, right? Truth or God or anything, right? And signified is something that comes to your mind when I write that word. Derrida says, this, what comes to your mind, will keep changing over a period of time. So, if this signified, right, is an image that comes to your mind, when I say this, it will not be a constant, right? I'll give you, you can think about it. It's a very simple premise. Uh, I just gave you this, uh, you know, this example so that you will understand it easily. Signifier and uh, signified. So now, let's continue. History of the concept of structure as a series of substitutions of center for center. If this is so, the entire history of the concept of structure before the rupture must be thought of as a series of substitutions of center for center for center. Successively and in a regulated fashion, the center receives different forms or names. That's what you know we discussed. The center might receive different forms or names, but the center keeps changing. When we were kids, come on, you know, Coventry Pat Moore's uh, famous poem, Toys. When we were kids, imagine that you and I were just one year or two year old kids. Our center maybe was the toys, Kiligulu toys. Right? So the toys that, you know, parents or relatives or somebody bought us, they were our center, they were our joy, everything. We, need, we didn't want anything else. Even if someone were to give you one lakh rupees, or 5 or 10 lakh rupees for a two-year kill, it doesn't mean anything. Our center, our conception of the center was different then. But, you know, when we got, went to your LKG, kindergarten, UKG, upper kindergarten, and then to, you know, first standard, the center keep, kept changing for us personally talking. So the word toy, when, to just ask a first standard kid for this Kiligulu toy, right, she will not be interested, even of a standard student. Now give me my cell phone. I want to see something on the cell phone. I want to play some video games or something. The center keeps changing. A fifth standard student, right? The center again keeps changing. Toys. In the 10th standard, again, the center keeps changing. She has something better to occupy her. 12th standard, the center keeps changing. College, again, the center means the pivot of interest for the particular learner or student or you or me keeps changing. 
So that's what, you know, Coventry Patmos says in this wonderful poem, of such joys uh, we made, of such toys we made our joys, right? So when, uh, just going back to the past, when your mom shows you a toy and she says, you know, this is what you loved so much, you'll feel, oh God, is that so? Is that so? Oh, no, 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 don't show it to me, right? I, I, but sometimes you'll feel nostalgic also, those memories. Oh gosh, right? So when I was a kid, this was my center. So the center is not fixed. That means the signified is not fixed. The signifier, that is, it could be, um, you know, a toy, a toy, T-O-Y, right? A toy, signifier, right? But the, the same word gives, gives us a different meaning over a period of time, right? In the beginning, we get a different meaning, right? Uh, when we were kids, right? It signifies something to us. When we are grown up, the same toys mean something to us, something else to us. That's what he says, right? So now come to the next important paragraph. The absence of the transcendental signifier. So, the, so there is no something called a transcendental signifier. The signified keeps changing over a period of time. Right? The same applies to, right? Uh, I'll just, uh, maybe I'll write you another word here. The concept of, um, I'll just, instead of signifier, just imagine I write the word L-O-V-E, L-O-V-E, right? So um, just imagine, right? Instead of signifier, I write, this word is not there. There is another word called L-O-V-E. He says, the concept of love that a person has evolves over a period of time. So when I was a kid, I loved, right? 100% that entirely, only my parents as a two-year-old, three-year-old kid. But the signified keeps changing over a period of time. So after I come to my fifth or tenth standard, the concept of love changes. I feel there are friends who also require my love. So I say, I love you, my friends. You'll have a favorite friend, isn't it? All of us will have at least one or two, every one of us, We'll have at least one or two favorite friends. And uh, without friends, right? Uh, friends make us complete, right? The clairvoyant factor that they give us, right? So, you know, uh, when we are in the 10th standard, maybe we feel, you know, not only Amma and Appa, but our friends also require our love. So the concept of love undergoes a change. So after we finish our graduation or post-graduation, sometimes we feel someone else, a person from the opposite gender, right? Maybe requires my love. So I say, I love you. And then we feel they are our world. You are my world. You are my everything. Oh, we say. So the concept of love, right? That, that is signified changes. The signifier, right? Is the same. The word love, L-O-V-E, right? The signifier is the same. But what? Right, changes is what is signified. Right, it continues changing over a period of. That's what Derrida says. Uh, if you don't understand this, this part especially, I'm recording this video. I've started recording this video for the past few classes. I can play this video once again for you. You can right refer back to it because these things um, you won't find it explained anywhere else. Right, so. Uh, I've tried to explain to you in the simplest of terms. If you still find it difficult, that means one, you have not done your reading of Derrida or uh, you know, deconstruction. Or secondly, right, you have switched on your uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, online uh, class and uh, doing some other work. Or thirdly, right, uh, it, it is too high that you have not done the groundwork for reading. Right? Please, if any of them right, has happened for you, right now reorient yourselves. When I was in my second MA, with all integrity, I tell you every day, every day, right? With all my conscience, I tell you, you can ask all my classmates, right? Every one of my classmates, because they were there. 18 of them were there when I got my gold medal from the governor of Tamil Nadu, Dr. You know, uh, Ram Rao in the year 2001, right? Um, in the university. 
every day i read i read i read for six to seven hours a day like every day before my you know i'm just answering my con touching my conscience i'm telling you every day i read for six to seven hours minimum five hours i will i will have a flask of coffee or tea with me chai night right if i start around 10 o'clock till 3 in the morning 4 in the morning i'll be reading 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 all my books right you'll see a, a whole lot of fluorescent right underlining sketches every day one day if even one day i don't read that's it my world is gone right so please this is the time you have to equip yourself and even today i have a readers group right where i you know we encourage everyone to read share what you read the reason is right i experienced the joys of reading when i was in my second ma class first ma class ug also so please you don't need anything else now nothing else you need now except reorienting yourself towards equipping your future right now right if there are distractions right a lot of friends distracting you a lot of things distracting you cut them off your life right away because you have just six more months to prove yourself that you have a glorious future ahead of you so you know we give our best after 20 years of polishing and polishing of derida right uh, i am able to give you some snippets on derida like this so if you want to give a lecture on derida on deconstruction tomorrow or later maybe when classes reopen again right i might ask you to come forward and give a lecture on derida deconstruct what you have learned from the classes i might ask you to define what is a transcendental signified you should be able to give me a working definition of what a transcendental signified is that means you have followed the classes if that means you know we will be so happy also so you know these are trying times and also uh, times of opportunities where you can right plunge yourself into reading right so please don't miss the opportunity that is in front of you uh, ts eliot says you know distracted from distraction by di a whole lot of distractions might come up even today every day i write a minimum of 1000 words i am in my mid 40s now right even today every day i write 1000 words read at least 50 pages a day minimum right so i don't need to do that at the stage when i am having a fat salary and everything is secured for me but we as your professors do that to upgrade and to update ourselves right when we do that you have all the more responsibility isn't it right so reorient yourself rededicate right envision what the future holds you should be a change maker uh, a transformational right uh, impact you should give right in your future you should be the best teacher you should be the best inspirer for that now you should start reading right there it is the most complicated of all but it can be made easier if you give that little focus right in my second ma when i studied students respected me for that in the first few days when i studied some 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 you know i was in the hostel so students my classmates used to tease me then i said you i am cutting you off from my life immediately i said i am cutting you off from my life forever you are no more my friend then they understood right how passionate a person is about reading then they also started then we all started reading together and uh, you won't believe right uh, then we formed a community of readers right every day we thought and resolved that we will read and read and read to equip ourselves please remember television or facebook or you know all these things will never equip you the way reading does they will just chomsky uses this particular phrase they will just show information down your throat that you didn't need big boss is information that you don't need at all but they they will try to show it down your th throats because you know cultural studies tells us it's a culture industry they will try to show it down your throats right you need this when you don't need it right that is the power of the culture industry so away from that at least when you are a learner when you are a student and focus please focus right some of you are asking me doubts i'm so happy on deconstruction right i'm trying to mail you also so happy blessings and best wishes for you i am i am i also promise you that i will help you 
throughout every aspect of your life when you ask me one doubt on deconstruction one doubt on derrida it makes me so elated so happy that you are following right you are passionate about learning you are passionate about knowledge you are passionate about creating or carving for yourself a good future right so yes we will continue um because this is the most important part the absence of the transcendental signified means the beginning of play just go back to the title structure sign and play in the discourse of the structure is out then sign is out and what begins play begins right what he calls free play so structure and sign give way to play as simple as that right so he says right uh, the absence of the transcendental signified so when does that happen when there is an absence of the transcendental signified when there is an absence of the transcendental signified play begins what is play so everyone gets an equal opportunity right on the maidan right on the playground so uh, this was the moment when language invaded the universal problematic um uh, the moment when in the absence of a center or origin everything became discourse everything became discourse so language when does it become discourse a very very important point of consideration uh, we all know uh, michel foucault uses the word discourse so what is discourse uh, stanley fish gives us a beautiful term no interpretive communities i c interpretive communities benedict anderson gives us a term we discussed in the poco class imagined communities please you know uh, key in these terms uh, once you log out and start reading them it's a book actually frederick jameson wrote a book on titled postmodernism very talk frederick jameson right um uh, right where he talks about national allegories national allegories edward said in this uh, you know conception of the orient he talks about imagined geographies what are they discourses italy is not language it is a discourse can you believe that language means there is a transcendental signified but there is no transcendental signified so language breaks down breaks down breaks down into what into discourse so what is discourse discourse is something that makes meaning to a particular body of people in a particular point of time at a particular point of place in society so discourse is very particular in uh, the postmodern condition a report on knowledge lighter talks about disbelief incredulity towards meta narratives so this is the era of mini narratives he says micro narratives that is discourse so idli also matters there is no some there is no something as a national food or a international a global food there is you know uh, there is something called idli that i relish there is something called roti that a north indian might relish there is something called puttu that a person from uh, kerala might relish right muttakari right uh, that uh, nottoli you know that uh, a person from uh, kerala might relish discourse so the word chutney or idli or uh, dosa is not language it is discourse discourse right now uh, yeah the moment in the absence of a center or origin everything became discourse so there is no unifying field of knowledge which can which can lay claim to the fact that this is knowledge or this is the right signify this is love right this is love i told you know signifier if i write love here 
I can't say, yes, that signifier refers only to this and say, this is love. No, I love ice cream. I love God. I love my parents. I love tourism. I love watching movies. I love this. I love that. So the concept of flow changes. Excuse me. Oh, it's time. Right? Evolves, changes over a period of time. That's what he says. Right? Uh, in the absence of a center or origin, everything became discourse, provided we can agree on the word. See, he's, he's not very certain of the term discourse also. Even in the beginning, no, in the beginning of the essay, the word event, he says, I'm not certain of the term event, provided we can agree on the word. We can agree on the word. That means words don't have any fixed, stable meaning to them. They keep changing. They keep changing. Traces that he calls. No, uh, uh, that is to say, a system in which the central signified, the, orig the, the original or transcendental signified, is never absolutely present outside a system of differences. The absence of the transcendental signified, what does it do? Extends the domain and the play of signification in the infinitely or indefinitely. There is a postponement of meaning indefinitely because there is no fixed center right we'll stop there for now we'll continue the next class if there are any doubts you can ask me or we'll uh, you can log out have a good day thank you thank you sir Welcome. thank you sir Welcome. thank you sir Yeah, thank you class. Thank you so much.